Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome to MBWK. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to minimize waste in your projects. So first of all, I'm going to take this um, newest project that I've been working on. It's a paw print Christmas decoration. Uh, it's got our old lab's name on here and our Daxon's name on this one. So I'm just going to mirror that back again. But what we're going to do, we're going to make it as simple as possible. We're going to highlight this top row. We're going to come up to the top taskbar and we're going to click Align Top. And that's going to make all of the tops of our graphics aligned at the top. Right. So once we've done that, we're going to go to this docking icon on the top right hand side of the toolbar. And we're going to click this left icon and that's going to bring all of these to this left hand side. Now I like to leave a small gap and to get that gap to increase or decrease the size of that gap you can um, increase this number this is in millimeters um, but I like to have at least two millimeters worth of gap between that just leaves enough for the curve of the laser to to pass through in between each graphic. So once we've aligned our tops, I'm just going to click on each individual graphic and just click this left docking icon, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to align the top and it's going to leave a 2 mil gap in between each graphic. So once we've done our top line, we're going to take the bottom line and do exactly the same. We're going to go to our align and we're going to align the tops. These are all selected and then we're going to hit left on the dock and that's going to pull everything to the left hand side. And then we're going to click each individual graphic again and click the left hand side of the dock. Once that's moved over, do the next one and then everything will be in place. Right. Can hold that. Now that they're all grouped, I'm just going to click on dock the ob objects upwards and that's going to bring it to this top line here. So all in all, if this is all going to be cut out of the same material, which it's not, and I'll go through that in a minute, uh, in sort of a production scenario, um, it just means that we can now use a bit of material that is just under 400 mil by just under three, uh, 260 mil. Actually, less than that, but you get the idea. Like we brought everything together. It's nice. It's tidy. And we now know if this is all one material, we can get away with cutting blanks for our laser engraver at 400 by 260. And we can just pop that in the top left hand corner on our bed, send the laser to do its job and it will cut everything out. So I have two different types of material here. So in, in my design, I have this red layer, this red cut layer. This is MDF on my design. This is going to be two pieces, so this is going to be the top layer, and this is going to be sort of a frame on the back, if I just select that. So this is going to be the frame for my picture on the back, and this is a bit of clear acrylic. So that's going to sit inside that once it's flipped around. Because um, this is a back side. Oh, Here we go. So that'll sit just inside, and then that's how the graphic will look. Um, but sorry, that's how the ornament will look once it's completed. So in this project, I have two different materials. I have clear acrylic on this green layer, and I have an MDF or a uh, Baltic birch uh, layer on the red layer. What we're going to do to make this a production wise because I'm planning on making hundreds of these I'm just going to bring this uh, first one down 
We can see at the top here that the width is 125 and the height of it is 117. So what I'm going to do is just make a square at 130 by 120. Okay, so just drag a rectangle out and I want 130. Uh, make sure that this is unlocked by 120. Hit enter, that's going to make my square. And if I hover in the middle, the crosshair is going to line up and now we have a box around this pore. So what I can do is duplicate that and bring that down. And what I can do is with this padding icon here, up in the top right hand corner, I'm going to set that to 10 and then I'm going to click on this box so it's highlighted and then I'm going to move it up so there'll be a 10 mil gap in between. Okay, just like that. And that means I can now nest this in the center of that. Right. And then with this, what I can actually do is just roughly size this piece as it's already there. So we now type margin wise, I've got 266 by 254 so I can bring this to 270 uh, by 260 just go to the nearest 10 mil upwards and now that that's done I can group these together hold this find the center Thing. just hold that click the center button and now this basically has a frame around it as well and again what I'm going to do is just click and drag over the top of it bring it down group these together okay and we're going to select all of this Selecting that afterwards, we're going to align height center. Okay, so this is now centered to this. And then we're going to highlight this side and click left, and that will give us a 10 mil gap in the middle. Just here. Okay. Fantastic. I'm going to select all of this, and we have a 410 by 260. So I want to make a box that is 20 mil bigger overall. Um, so we get a 10 mil border around the outside. So I'm going to go 430 to 80. Okay. So just drag and drop a box. 430 and 280. Fantastic. That's going to give me the box we can drop that over the top going to group all of this now group on this and that and click the bullseye button and now we're centered so we now have a 10 mil border at the bottom a 10 mil border at the top and on both sides this means I can cut a board Um, 430 by 280 and what it'll do is it'll run around this outside edge making sure that these are selected first and then once this is cut out then you can cut your board so you can cut your blanks that will fit in between uh, this perimeter so this this will just be a border once it's left let me just take these out to show you properly so this one this one out you come and then take these out so this is what you'll be left with once you've cut it out um, which you can then place in either corner um, of your uh, laser cutter 
I know that my on my bed measurements because they're different. Um, I line mine up at the top, and I come to 960 for mine, and this will be at a meter on my bed. For some reason, it's 40 mil out, uh, but that just means that you can you can cut your material to the size that will fit these pockets and you can just drop them in to the center you can leave these on make sure that this is set to a tool path the tool path just means that it's there um, you turn the frame off um, otherwise it'll do a border around the outside like it'll just frame the work but you can just drop and drag your blanks in and that means that once all of this is cut out you can take your parts out and then just refill it with blanks and if you really wanted to you can like depending on how big your bed is um, you can make it like if you're if you're wanting to use scraps this is ideal okay so you can um, literally just take like five inch scraps cut them to size sling them in here and there you know it's, nothing's wasted then so if you have eighth of an inch or three mil mdf off cuts that are uh, five inches you can literally make multiples of these ornaments for next to nothing it's all scrap and there's no wastage if you found value in this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It doesn't cost anything, and I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time, and happy engraving.